I'm excited to be here. Uh, one of my friends wants me to buy a gun because like Sabrina, he watches too many documentaries about women getting murdered. And I get it, like I'm five feet tall, that's a very kidnappable size. <laughs> you know, I'm one day that started out like any other away from ending up in some creepy dude's basement. But I don't wanna buy a gun. I don't need a gun. Like, if I were to make a list of everyone that I found to be a threat to me, it would go murderers, rapists, pedophiles who are bad at guessing age, <laughs> and then me, top of the list, number one every time. Like, I don't need a gun because the calls are coming from inside the house, you know what I mean? Like, I am my own apex predator. But I do think I should defend myself and I think I found a way from watching these documentaries. And if you notice, they all kind of start the same way. They interview the victims' families, and the victims' families are like, oh, oh, she was so wonderful, she was so kind, she was beautiful, she lit up every room she walked into. So now sometimes if I go into a room, I just turn off the lights. <laughs> Take that, Ted Bundy. <laughs> and you know, does that make me look like a bitch? Maybe, but you know what the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, an ash hole act keeps me from getting attacked. <laughs> it's worked so far. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't like violence. I like, to, I, I like threats though. I have what I like to call scrappy-do syndrome. It's like a, Nicol a Napoleon complex, but like smaller and more annoying. <laughs> I don't, I don't like violence though. I'm actually, I'm a vegetarian. I've been a vegetarian for over 10 years now. No, no. Anybody who woos for that is the kind of person who likes to put vegetables in baked goods. <laughs> and no one should be their friend. It's like, hmm, this cake tastes interesting. Thanks, I put zucchini in it. Why, Emily? It doesn't make cake healthy, it makes it weird. <laughs> no. When you're a vegetarian or a vegan or the one where you only eat butter, whenever you have a diet, people love to ask you questions, right? Like, why? Why? And then you lie, or at least I do, because I don't want to tell them the truth. Usually I say something like, I just really love animals. Or I rant about the environmental impact the meat industry has on the world. Honestly, I became a vegetarian when I was 15. I didn't give a shit about the ozone layer. <laughs> It was trendy, but everyone just told me I was doing it because it was trendy, so I kept doing it out of spite, and now if I eat chicken, I'll throw up on you. I'm stuck like this. <laughs> it's a prison. <laughs> yeah, having a, uh, being a vegetarian for so long, I've heard a lot of questions, uh, and some of them, some, sometimes they get a little silly, all right? Like a lot of people, mostly teenage boys, are very concerned about what I'm gonna do when the apocalypse hits. It's like, oh, but when zombies come, when zombies come, you're gonna have to hide in the woods and you're gonna have to hunt deer and kill them and eat them if you wanna make it. Kyle, you are wildly overestimating my survival skills and my will to live. <laughs> if the zombie apocalypse happens, I'm out. <laughs> no, I'm joining Team Z first chance I get. But my Wi-Fi went out last week and I was like, should I die? <laughs> Is this the, it's the end of the world. <laughs> one of my favorite questions that I've ever gotten, and I've gotten it on more than one occasion, is if a cow jumped on a grill and begged you to eat it, would you? <laughs> of course not. I just found a talking cow. That is a literal cash cow. I'm not gonna eat that investment. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna buy a carnival barker hat and one of those mustaches and I'm gonna be like five dollars, five dollars to see the suicidal talking cow and I'll make a ton of fucking money. And then I'll make so much money. I can buy a really nice farm and a pasture and I can put the cow in therapy so it learns to love its life and will live happily ever after because I just love animals. My name is Madison Burks and have a good night, guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.